What's up guys, I'm Bob Tompkins with the Living at SC team at Real Broker and welcome back to the channel. So we all know that one of the worst things that can happen when you're visiting a new state or moving to a new state and you're having a conversation with a local and all of a sudden it becomes abundantly clear that you are either a tourist or a transplant, that you know absolutely nothing about the state or city that you're in. Well, on today's episode of Living in South Carolina, we are going to address just that by covering 10 fun facts about South Carolina that will make you seem like a local. Let's get into it. Our first fun fact has to do with the oldest tree in South Carolina. That tree is Angel Oak. Angel Oak is located just outside of Charleston, South Carolina, and its claim to fame is that it is roughly an estimated 1,500 years old. That makes it the oldest living tree and arguably the oldest living organism east of the Mississippi River. So I don't know about you, but 1,500 years is an extremely long time. So not only has Angel Oak seen the colonization of the states, the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, and all of America's history, but Angel Oak is more than five times the age of our country. That is just truly amazing. Now, for fun fact number two, Everybody knows the song Peaches by Justin Bieber, where Justin Bieber says he gets his peaches down in Georgia. Well, unfortunately for him, that is not the largest selection of peaches in North America. In fact, it's not even a more abundant selection than Edgefield County in South Carolina. That's right, Edgefield County actually produces more peaches per year than the entire state of Georgia. Now, if you're not from here, you may be thinking, but Georgia is the peach state. And that's right, Georgia is a bunch of frauds. South Carolina actually produces the second most peaches in North America, only behind the state of California. And Edgefield County is the leader of all the counties in South Carolina producing the most peaches. And if you're in South Carolina, you would be aware that there are some pretty iconic things that point towards peaches in our state, most notably the peach oid in Gaffney, South Carolina. It uh, pays tribute to the peaches that we produce here in the state because unlike Georgia, we're not fraudulent. We actually produce peaches. Now for our third fun fact about South Carolina, if you know anything about sweet tea, you've probably heard that Sweet Tea was founded or birthed in 1904 at the World's Fair in St. Louis. Well, if that's what you've heard, unfortunately, you're wrong because evidence of Sweet Tea actually dates back into the early 1890s in Somerville, South Carolina. That's correct, Sweet Tea was actually first made outside of Charleston in Somerville, South Carolina. So if you're ever sitting on the back porch enjoying a cold glass of ice sweet tea, you have Somerville, South Carolina to thank. Coming in at our fourth fun fact about South Carolina, if you are a fan of spicy food, then you have absolutely heard of this. The Carolina Reaper pepper is from Fort Mill, South Carolina, and it is the hottest pepper on the face of planet Earth, ranking in at 2.2 million units on the Scoville charts. This is a pepper that will burn your face off. That Carolina Reaper pepper was cultivated here, it grows here, and we take a lot of pride in knowing the heat comes from South Carolina. With fun fact number five about South Carolina, you may be intrigued to know that Columbia has not always been the capital of South Carolina. In fact, when South Carolina was first founded as a state, Charlestown was the capital that's now known as Charleston, but it didn't remain the capital for long because people up from around where I live in Greenville, Anderson, Spartanburg, Oconee County, 
They got sick and tired of making the trip all the way down from the foothills and the mountains, across the Midlands and down to the coast, that they began to complain at the different Senate and representative meetings, and they said we needed a place that was better for everyone to travel. Now, with the automobile today, that may seem kind of funny, but back when you were riding horses to legislature meetings, it didn't seem like such a bad thing. So, in 1786, they actually voted in the legislature to move the capital from Charlestown to Columbia, South Carolina, where it has remained ever since, right in the center of our Triangle State. With fun fact number six about South Carolina, I'm gonna pay a little tribute to the town I call home now, which is Anderson, South Carolina. Anderson was actually the first town in the entire South to have long distance energy transmission and Anderson was dubbed the electric city as a result. The electricity that was generated in Anderson, South Carolina was actually put together by engineer William Whitner, which if you're from Anderson, you will know Whitner Street is named for him. William Whitner, he actually went up and consulted with the famous Nikola Tesla, who Tesla is named after. And after coming back from studying with him and evaluating the different systems in New York City, he implemented those right here in Anderson, South Carolina, and was able to produce energy for much of the upstate of South Carolina as a result. Now, with fun fact number seven about South Carolina, you may be interested to know that in South Carolina, that is the only place where you can find north, southeast of due west. Now, <laughs> that's a dumb geography joke, but it actually is true. The small town of North, where my mom is from, is actually located southeast on a map from the small town of Due West. It's an absolutely pointless fact, but it's one that'll help make you look like a local. Coming in at number eight on our list is one of the coolest fun facts about South Carolina, in my opinion. If you've ever visited Greenville, you may have heard about the mice around Greenville. If you're visiting, there are nine separate mice all around the city. They're hidden and they're a super fun thing to try and find. But you may not know where those mice came from. In fact, the nine mice around Greenville pay tribute to the children's book, Goodnight Moon, where in Goodnight Moon, there are actually nine little mice hidden throughout the book. We decided to take that little children's book and put it right into the city there in Greenville, South Carolina. So when you're in Greenville, make sure you're trying to find those nine little mice. With fun fact number nine about South Carolina, you may be surprised to find out that we love to shag. In fact, the shag is the official state dance of South Carolina. Shagging is actually a swing dance, and it has been the official state dance since 1984. But if you're not from here, you may have very different meanings of shagging and swinging, but here in South Carolina, it's just harmless fun. And finally, last but definitely not least on our list of 10 fun facts in South Carolina, it is the great debate. Where was barbecue founded? Well, we here in South Carolina will fight you tooth and nail on our right to claim that barbecue was founded in the state of South Carolina. Not just because of honor or glory or anything like that, but there's actually historical evidence that it was. North Carolina likes to try and say that they claim to be the first barbecue in America, but no. We are the founders of barbecue, and the historical evidence actually backs it up. You see, barbecue came from a blending of two sorts of cooking styles, that of the Spanish and that of the Native Americans. There's no doubt that barbecue was founded in the Carolinas, but there's also zero evidence that Spaniards ever settled in North Carolina. However, they did in South Carolina. So in order for those cooking styles of the Spanish and the Native Americans to blend, they had to live together. 
That only happened in South Carolina. So whenever you're in Texas or Kansas City or even in the Carolinas enjoying some great barbecue or brisket, you have South Carolina to thank for all those flavors. Now guys, once again, I'm Bob Tompkins with the Living in SC team at Real Broker. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the 10 fun facts of South Carolina. And if you have, be sure to subscribe to our channel, check out some of our other videos, and we'll see you next time on Living in South Carolina.